Here I've opened up the Cutting Master Cut Plot dialog box because this is where a lot of the work is going to be coming from. Now, just to kind of give you an overview of all the components in this little dialog box, is first of all, you see up here you got the FC7000-100 Neils at Graphtech USB. That shows you the port and also the driver that I'm using. You're never confused as to which cutter you're going to have or that you're outputting to. You have properties and then of course you can get to the queue again if you need to. A couple other things is here you've got your basic information page. This is the page where you change things and you notice you have four different tabs. You have general, you have layering, you have tiling or paneling, and then of course you've got the advanced page. And each of these pages has, has their own set of parameters that you can set up for the different types of jobs that you're doing. Then of course over here you have your preview window. Now what's interesting about this preview window is that actually you see these little arrows down at the bottom. These actually show you the direction of the vinyl that is going to be placed in the cutter. So if you can imagine your mind's eye is you'd have the cutter right here and then the material is going to go back and forth this way. So it kind of gives you a scope or a visual of how the graphic is going to lay on your on your vinyl or the material that you're cutting. Now this width here is the exact width that's up here. Now right now because I have the FC7000-100, I have a cutting area of 41.6 inches by, well, 1,968 inches long. Now, I can change that. If, for instance, I know that I'm using 36-inch material, I can actually go to User Defined and then change this number to 36. Now, watch what happens to this area once I do that. You see how the Graphtech logo gets bigger? because it gets bigger in proportion to the size of the media. So the media is 36 inches and the Graphtech has grown in relationship to that 36 inches, which is kind of a neat feature. It kind of gives you, once again, that visual of how big the object is going to be on your vinyl. Now, if you're really unsure as to how big or what width you're dealing with on your cutter, there's this little question mark right here, which is basically called pull page size. If I click that, what that does is that goes out to the plotter and says, well, how big, how wide are you? And then the plotter sends back that information and it's going to be displayed right here. So if I click on that now, and there it is. It's not exactly 24 inches, but where the wheels are, in between the wheels, or the cutting area that we have, is 23.6. And once again, if you look over in the preview window, you can see it's reflected. That You notice the Graphtech logo got bigger because that's in proportion to a 24-inch width vinyl. So now you can see how it's going to look when it comes out of your cutter. Now, a couple other features is the job size. So if I don't like this job size, which is 8 inches, 8.3 inches, as po and 40 inches long, and I want a little bit smaller, I can either change it by percentage, so I can change this to say 50 percent, keep it proportional, and there it is, it's half the size keep watch on this because a lot of times I've sent jobs down and I didn't keep watch on it and all of a sudden I've got a job that's either too small or too large uh, from what I originally wanted. You can also do fit to media which will just enlarge it to the width of the media to whatever length that may be which is in this case it looks like it's 110 inches. So here you can do your job size. Now I'll switch it back to 100 percent. Then down here you can change the position. Now this is kind of important because for instance if I have something cut over here, like say right in this area, or I already have a graphic logo cut and I need to cut another one and I want to place the second one so it doesn't overcut where the original one is, I can actually change the position by changing this. So I look up here and I figure, well about 10 inches will, will do it. So I'll go ahead and put in 10 right here. I want 10. And I'll hit tab, and there it is. Now it placed it right over here, right on the 10 mark. I can go ahead and cut that. Another little feature that I have that might help you a little bit is what we call interactive. And what that does is that gives you a visual. So each time I move this, it's going to move that the tool head on your cutter to that position. If I moved it here, you'll see the tool head move over as it continues. And then this one, this little button says show me. And basically what that is, is it says show me how big this job is. So if I clicked on that, what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and feed out the material to that length, whatever this length is, and then go ahead and give me uh, a visual on my cutter as to how big it was. This little gem here allows you to set up how you want it to cut. How do you want to position on the vinyl? 
this is a quick and easy way. For instance, like I mentioned before, if I've already cut something right here, maybe I want to put it on the other side. So what I can do then is I can click on that option and see how it flips over to the other side. Or I can set it into the middle. Of course, most jobs you want to set it over to the side because this is where the control panel is and it's just generally best to cut it from over there. Then, of course, you've got your rotate. You have four different ways you can rotate it. So if I want the C in the graphic to cut first, I can click on that, and you can see the C is going to be the first one that's going to be cut coming out of the cutter. I can also mirror it quickly, as you can see there. But once again, all these features all reflected right in here. And then, of course, I wanted copies. I can do that, too, as well and it goes ahead and automatically sets it up to according to the width of your material and the length so that uh, you're not cutting off the drawing now here you notice I have a, quite a bit of gap here so if I were to come up here and maybe reduce the width size keep reducing it until there I get three now of course that resizes things for you but if that's not important well that's it just gives you an idea of what you can do here and then this last feature on this page is the copy spacing how much space you want between each copy. I can do that so each copy becomes closer so I save on material. Last two options here, of course this one's grayed out, selection only. So if you selected something on the Adobe Illustrator like a circle or some object and you click on this that's the only object that's going to cut. It's kind of a handy feature if you've got a bunch of objects and you just want to recut one little circle or something like that you can click on selection only and it'll go ahead and cut that. This will hold it on the list. In other words it will not send it down to the cutter until you're ready to send it. So if I click on send it's going to put a job, the job right here and you see it says holding. So now I can click up here get to my let me move it into your window there. Get to my cut window or my queue, and you see it's holding right here. From here, I can go ahead and send the job with this button right here. Or in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because I don't want to cut it right now. So that's the first page. The last few buttons I wanted to show you is first of all, if for some reason you get messed up, you don't know where you started, you can always click this reset. Okay? you remember I made five copies so but as you can see I can only see three of them but how are they gonna lay out how can I actually see the full thing and that's what your zoom keys down here are for so for instance if I want to see everything that is going to be cut I can click on this button and you can see now there's the five copies if I wanted to show me the general I'll just go ahead and click on that it zooms back in on it of course if I want to check out how this T is going to be cutting I'll go ahead and circle this T and you can see it zooms in right there and of course I can get it back and that way you can go ahead and you have a lot of the features on this page that pretty much gets everything from here I can go ahead and like I said send the job but uh, you see how to shape or how to resize your job how you can see it in the visual and the preview page here all the options how you can set the job size and fit the media so that you can be highly productive with this little package thank you for watching for more information please contact us today